beautiful people of YouTube, Leho, it's Virginia. And I was supposed to have a really fun day planned, but the weather did not participate and it was supposed to be raining the whole entire weekend. So we're just gonna do, I guess, some errands and rainy activities in Hong Kong, starting with some lunch. Let's go. And if you live in Hong Kong or you want people to know you live in Hong Kong and not a tourist, you can call it TST. There's a cool little wet market. It's called the Temporary Mart Market, but it's been here since like, I'm gonna say the 70s. So they have a really cool and newly renovated cooked food market, and I like their beef bowls. Follow the yellow brick road past the butcher stands. There are a lot of halal butcher stands here. And then, ta da! Oh, here we are. Okay, so this market is quite full, quite popular, but most popular is the pork chop rice, which is down there. Okay. Yay! How oh. are Made it! Do I have some? So we're sat here at this place. This place, I asked her and she said they've been open for like 30, 40 years. And then they're famous for their pork chop rice or their pork chop in general. And then sometimes I like to get it in a bun if you're like, you want it to go. And their pork chop isn't like the fried kind. It's not battered, it's not deep fried, but it's more like just seasoned. The pork chop is quite lean, but at the same time, it's not chewy at all. It's also very, very well seasoned. You can tell that they've marinated ahead of time and all the sauces soak into the meat and it's just super, super tender and juicy. So my bowl of noodles have arrived and it's kind of ginormous because I did three toppings instead of my usual one. That place is known for their beef balls. Their beef balls are super bouncy and they've got like the nicest texture. So I've also got some beef innards today and also beef tendon because I need some collagen. Super good texture if you like the bounce. Oh, by the way, the tendon has a very gelatinous texture. If you're not into that kind of texture, maybe try the beef brisket or just get beef balls. Bon appetit! Would this be considered like your version of a food court? Probably, right? Now, smell the air. What do you smell? Expensive richness bunny. We are at Harbor City. Okay, we can't run or waddle as my cousin says. We have to walk like we are very high society. Oh, <laughs> look at the robot! Hong Kong's favorite pastime. Lining up for things. Where are we going? Right behind me. Ice cream all day, every day. Let's go. In Chinese, it's cake pong, which means like the ice cream cone. There's something I really want. Hello, Jung Yamo, what's up, my yeah? How are you? How are you? Look, it's corn! Ta-da! Corn! My favorite! Okay, this is quickly melting in my hands. Let's give it a try. Mm. This is like cream of corn. Actually, it's quite good. Mm. See these people? What are they lining up for? This guy, the, the, the toothpaste commercial. Oh, that must be, what's his name? Gong Tao, the ginger guy. I call him Gong Yong, but I might get killed if I told people that. This is how crazy now this guy has become. His advertisement, all these ladies taking photos of him. Oh my, with their dolls. Oh my goodness. Back 
artifacts are not permitted, so they have either these cubby holes or, or you can give it to them. Okay, so I feel like there's a couple of exhibition holes, and then you line up individually for all of them. foot massage before dinner ho, 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 ho. like I mean it's raining what else are you supposed to do I've been here for a while I'm used to it so I'm gonna go to a kind of a sketchy one that I found on the internet so we somehow spontaneously jumped on to this mini bus which was about to leave this urgency we jumped onto it so I don't really know where it takes us per se but it is going to TSD so fingers crossed. Foot massages are really common in Hong Kong and because rent is so expensive, a lot of times they're hidden within like really sketchy industrial buildings and it requires you to get either a friend to bring you there or someone to recommend it to you. So the one that I am going to right now is this one with the neon lights. I usually don't recommend any parlors with neon lights, but this one is actually pretty clean and pretty good. By good, I mean that most of the masseuse have a good firm massage and grip and they're like, they know how to get to your pressure points. Pretty clean and the price is pretty good. It just looks really dodgy. One hour later. Ta-da! We have finally persisted until dinner time. I totally slept through my entire foot massage, but we're here now. We're here for chicken pot. What that is, is first we eat chicken in a dry pot and then we hot pot afterwards with the remaining sauce from the chicken. It's very yummy and very popular. This isn't a really old school place, but it's kind of like a retro, vintage hipster place. I thought it'd be kind of cute. I think the first thing we have to do is choose our chicken. Do we want a half or a full? She gave us a boiling pot of hot water, so you know what that means. It means that she wants you to wash your utensils. One chung, we got a mixed sauce. Uh, I'm really boring. I like to use fresh chili. Uh, oh, they don't have cilantro. I usually just put cilantro. We can put a little bit of spring onion. That's about it. And then the main sauce that we use is soy sauce. Our chicken's here. This is kaipo. This is what we call it. Basically, we start with chicken first. It's usually like spicy. And then afterwards, we put in the soup base. Okay, let's give it a try. And we've ordered half a chicken, so it's just like all parts of the chicken in here. The sauce that we were making earlier isn't for the dry hot pot. We just eat this as is. The chicken is like already cooked, so they preheat it and it's really tender. Um, the sauce, I think, it still hasn't like fully marinated into the chicken yet, but I think as we eat, it's definitely gonna get saucier and tastier and tastier. But the seasoning is quite good. Yay! And then the interesting thing they put here is that they also put uh, pig skin here. So this is pig skin. Let's give it a try. This one is really yummy, so it's like soaked in all the sauce. This is really good. Bon appetit! Several bad puns later. In goes the saute soup. We ordered very little because we already had a whole half chicken. We have some Korean rice cakes and then my favorite Chinese potato noodles. And then we also have a beef. And that's it. I don't eat vegetables during hot pot, so don't give me crap about that. All right, it's boiling, so time to put stuff in. Potato noodles. And then we've got some rice cakes. We got a lot of carbs going on. Super easy. Grab a beef. It has to be boiling. Then you dunk it in. Don't let go of it or else you'll never find it again. Once it changes color, it's changed color, it's done. Hot pot is you make sure things either change color, they shrivel up or they float. That's about it. Um, we have a satay soup base, which is already quite flavorful. If you don't find it flavorful enough, then you dip it in the soy sauce. Mm. So good. Highly recommend you try these. 
Now that we've finished with the savory, we have to have dessert, right? So I'm just looking at dessert places around here. Oh, 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 oh,